Ahoy hoy everyone and welcome back to Nintendo Switch Online, mature version. Today I'm going to be checking out the second of the two games currently available on this service, Turok Dinosaur Hunter. And now, the Top Hat channel is honored to present Broadcast Nudes. Ooh. And we're going to be seeing which controller is best to play this game. Is it the old N64 controller as it was designed for? Or does the Switch Pro work out better? Or are they comparable? Which basically means Switch Pro wins, because everyone has one of these, not everyone has one of these. And if you're into this kind of thing, then consider subscribing to the channel, uh, leaving a like, and let me know in the comments below what N64 games you'd like me to play next. Without further ado, let's jump into Turok. And here we are, we are, uh, I'm in Turok, I've never really played Turok or any of the Turok games before, I just know he's a dude who kills dinosaurs and other things. So let's just start game, we've got to locate the hub ruins, use the keys to open the level portals, and yes, we're gonna jump in with the N64 controller first, as it was designed, and let's go. Um, okay, so the control stick is to aim. Z is to slice, A changes weapon, B also changes weapon, ah, C buttons are to move, okay, that's a bit weird, let me just look in the options menu, um, I can, I can change to left handed mode, what does that do? So now the C button, still that, so let me guess, is it D button to move, is it Ekans who pearl? Okay, so this is kind of similar to how I was playing Perfect Dark, actually, um, in one of the modes, except a bit worse. I think I'm going to play this just in, in left-handed mode, just because moving with the C buttons and aiming with the stick, just, it feels wrong. Your left hand should be for moving and right for aiming. Um, so we're going to do it this way. It might be a bit weird, and I may need to change it back when we play with the Switch Pro, but yeah, let's, let's head into Turok and collects these triangles. Okay. I can climb up a wall. Collect all the triangles. This is going good so far. Look at that fog. Who are you? Wait, you're not a dinosaur. Oh my god. Look how mature this game is. Look at that blood. I should make it green, really, shouldn't I? Wow. And I can change to my bow. Maybe I should shoot whatever the next thing is. But there's this. God, it's so sensitive, moving on the D-pad. The level two key. Five keys to find on this level. Wait, that was the first level complete? Wow, okay. I mean, this isn't an early N64 game, I guess. Oh, can we, can we kill this deer? Is it a deer? Oh my God, there's a gun there. I wanna try and use the, whoa. Okay, now we have a pistol. Hey! I didn't shoot you in the neck. Still, brutal. Okay, let's just use a pistol. Hey there, dear friend. What the heck? Two health. Got this. And then he disappears. This game's weird. I've never played it, but... It... It's cool. Oh my god! Clever girls. Hello? Why did it just make a Jaguar noise? This is crazy. Why aren't you dying? Put about 20 arrows in yet. The dinosaur's invincible? I thought I was a dinosaur hunter. I thought that was the point of me. Okay, bam, bam. Okay, two bullets took him down. I'm sure, I'm sure the arrows weakened him. God, there's so many Jaguars around. It's scary. Hello. Okay, two bullets take down the humans. Why are these humans working with the dinosaurs anyway? Okay, he took one bullet. Picking up lots of health. Some more uh, triangles. But yeah, this... God. This is... Uh, let's just say it's uh, a bit challenging to play. What the hell is shooting me? Oh, he had a gun. Shotgun shells, but no shotgun. Okay. Blammo! At least shooting them is uh, quite easy. But maybe I should be using my knife for the melee, guys. 
Bam, bam. So yeah, Z trigger underneath to shoot. Um, I can press the C button to change to walking. But who has time to walk? I'm Turok, I must run. This is Jaguars everywhere. God, it's like every five seconds there's a Jaguar going off in the background. I love it. Okay. Pig. I knife the pig. Yes, I can. Gets me some health. Back to 100. What's over here? Oh my god. I feel like... Okay, I should... Just shoot the Velociraptors, I think, with the gun. Otherwise I will end up like that guy in Jurassic Park. Wait. Why did this... Why did they just beam in this dinosaur? Okay, I'll, I'll level with you. I know nothing about Turok's lore or what's going on. But are the dinosaurs also aliens? What the... I just teleported, I think. Who are you? Throwing grenades at me. Get owned. How do I get up there? Can I jump? I didn't... Oh my god, there's a jumper. <laughs> The left foot? I didn't even know you could jump. Okay, now I'm in the water. Oh, I can climb back up. Holy crap. I didn't realize this game also had platforming. This is uh, pretty brutal. Did it. Okay. Nope, failed it. Um, this might take me a while, but we're, go we're gonna do it. First person 3D platforming on the N64 is. Oh. oh my god. Not the not the greatest thing, especially this weird ass controls. I guess I'm using the D-pad, so it should be somewhat accurate, but Okay. We did it, okay. This is we're nearly there. This is like worse than Celeste at this point. the last one? What's up here? No key? Oh. No, that's where I came up. Oh, it keeps going. Okay. Okay, okay. You can do this. You can do this. Don't panic. Don't panic. Oh. I see a key. Right? No, it's just a checkpoint. Climbing up, getting more triangles. What the heck is that? What the hell were you? Some kind of orc after spice moraines. God. Oh, the stairs have aligned for me. Hooper platforming in this game. Uh. No, I should have walked first. Oh, God. Where's the damn key? Okay, lots of gun ammo. Clip, 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 clip. That guy only has a trident, so I can. He's dead. Okay, one explosive arrow absolutely takes out a Velociraptor. Good to know. Climb up here. 25 health, nice. Whoa. Why would you keep running at me when you have the gun? I, only, I was only using the knife, he had the advantage. What is this? Save! You need the controller memory pack. <laughs> I don't have a memory pack. This thing is solid. I can't save in this thing, but I guess I can... Um...
create a suspend point. See? It's just like I saved it. God. Crazy. Whoops, wrong button. Right. Oh my god. I thought, I would, I thought I'd fall into my death then. Oh my god, we're in bloody lethal lava lands now. This game has everything. Crazy. He's got a gun. Got a shooter. Oh, I'm in the lava. Okay. Got most of my health back. So now I have to do the jumping puzzle where if I fall in, I die. Yep. Good thing I just saved. Okay. Another teleporter. Right, let's get the gun out just in case there's some bad dudes on the other side. Where the hell even am I? What is this game? <laughs> I'm so confused. <gasps> the shotgun, hell yes. Oh, look at this. Blammo, blammo. Now that's more like it. Hell yeah. Is this a key? What is this? Wait. This is where I started the level. Okay. That's like a shortcut back. Oi, dinosaur. It's not fair, you're not allowed to respawn that quickly. Oh my god, I'm just gonna go up the ladder. Are you? Knife. Knife. I hope that dinosaur can't climb ladders. They aren't usually famous for being able to climb ladders, uh, dinosaurs. Can open doors though, so I do need to watch out for that. Whoa, he sent me flying. Where the hell am I? This bet. What the heck are you? Hello? What the heck is this subterranean hell I find myself in? This game has so much going on. Um, okay, I think it's time for a change places. I thought there would be more linear points, but there absolutely is not. Um, okay, let's change to the Switch Pro. Change places! Change places! Okay, here we are with the Switch Pro controller. Now, this is a bit strange. First of all, I should change the controls back to right-handed mode, because I don't think left-handed mode is going to work at all for the Switch Pro. And, okay. So now we've got right stick move, left trigger that, right bumper to jump, left trigger to stab, look on the left, um, okay. I don't normally do stuff like this, but following my Perfect Dark video, I need to. The left stick to look and the right stick to move, this is, this is impossible. So. We're going to apply our um, Perfect Dark controller scheme. So if I, you didn't see my Perfect Dark video specifically about this, um, you should. I'm going to go to Change Burn Mappings, Pro Controller, Change. Oops. Then we're going to go Load a Preset, Perfect Dark. So what we've done is we've swapped the left and right stick around, and we've also swapped the left and right trigger around. Therefore, we should get modern, in inverted commas, FPS controls. Let's see. Left stick is to move, right stick is to look. I can't change the looking version, which is a bit annoying on this, but oh well. Um, and then right trigger is to stab. Whoa. This game has a map. And now the left trigger brings up the map. Right bumper is jump. Okay. Okay. 
I jump that high. Um, so we're going to go with this for the Switch Pro controller. Um, and it may be a bit cheating, because normally I don't do stuff like this for the comparison videos, but okay. Default controls, I'm just going to say it already, and I will, but I'll say it again at the end. Completely unplayable. Unless your brain can flip its muscle memory, no chance. Absolutely no chance. It's bad enough you have to invert... Oh my god. Invert the, um, the aiming, and you can't change that. This map is weird. Um, but, yeah. Oh my god. Having to um, also then have your left stick and right stick do the opposite to what they do in basically everything. It's it's too much. It's too damn much. And and I've got to do f early free first person 3D jumping puzzles. No thank you. No thank you. Just ignore the health. Gonna... Oh how? I was literally walking straight. Maybe I put it onto left-handed mode so I can just use the D-pad and just walk straight with that. Or... Hold on, I've got an idea. I need to... Wait, was I already on walking speed? I'm gonna do this nice and slowly, because god it's finicky. I want to be out of whatever hellhole I fell into. What do these triangles even do? I don't know. Wait. Please don't tell me I could have left the entire time. Oh, it was a bonus stage. I could have left the entire time. Okay. But now where the hell am I? I fell down after doing that jumping puzzle. Uh, let's go back to running speed. Vroom. Okay, let's climb up here, see where the hell we are. Okay, we're back here. Okay, that's not too bad. Completely lost track of what I was doing. Get knifed. I'm not walking close to the edge. For a game labeled Dinosaur Hunter, you kill a lot of men. Two mans. Is the... I did it! Turok has done it. Four keys to find on this level. God, this level's huge. Wait, I could bring up a map? Wow. That, that's crazy to me, just how... Ah! Ah! We killed the Kremlin, or not the, the... what are they called? Yeah, they are Kremlins, aren't they, in Donkey Kong? Also the building in Moscow, but that's not what I mean. Okay... <gasps> Holy shit! Excuse my language, it's a bloody... That was like a liquor from Resident Evil. This game has everything, god. Terrified. Stay away. Got 85 bullets, so I'm not gonna mess around. Bloody bloody cave things, but... I apologise if you've played a bunch of Turok before, but I've not, and I'm a complete noob and I don't know much about it, but yeah, it's pretty fun. I am enjoying it. I definitely never... I didn't own really anything like this on the N64 when I was a kid. Maybe because it was too mature for me, even though I definitely had Goldeneye. And then later Conker's Bad Fur Day, but... Which I really hope they add to the mature service, by the way. You should uh, say in the comments if you're really looking forward to Conquest Bad Fur Day, because I definitely am. Um, but Turok is one of those games I remember always being on the shelf when I was a kid. It had quite distinctive box art with that, di that dinosaur on the front. I mean, even though Jurassic Park came out around the time I was born, it was still a big deal. When I was a kid, I definitely remember having Jurassic Park toys and... Just dinosaurs were ever big merch for dinosaurs, so this sort of feeds on this. God, that's a big boy. Triangle all around. Um, it's 
So yeah, this feeds in nicely to this. Oh, he respawned. Um, no, no. Take me back. Take me back. Okay. Gotta go down. A bunch of health. Shotgun shells. How do I reload? So I'm definitely picks up more shells. Flammo. Oh, there are different kinds of shells? These ones are green. Ah, I've got the map up all the time. My knife back out. You call this a knife? Yes. Oh my god. Did I hit him? Hey, I got a grenade. Spiritual invincibility. Oh my god, it's disco mode. And all there is to kill is a ball. I'm spiritually invincible. Oh! Is everything just stationary? No, it's just slow motion. Oh, look at that. Game's awesome. Pressing the wrong buttons all the time, but it doesn't matter. I'm spiritually invincible. It's crazy. Bam, bam, bam. What's that? Mortal wounds. I don't know what any of this means. I press I keep pressing the Oi. The humans shouldn't be able to respawn like that. Die you one mortal wound. Oh no. Oh god. These jumping puzzles, man, are just way too crazy. But I did it. Beetles. Can't look down very well. Ah. Snakes. Snakes everywhere. They're not snakes, they're beetles. I feel like Barney whacking at invisible snakes. Oh. I'm also struggling because it's incredibly hot today when I'm recording, so I'm. Oh. Crazy. What's down here? Oh god, the swimming. There's some. S god, the underwater music's awesome. I can't see. Is this where I went in? Yes. Okay. What's that? Like health. But I can't pick it up. Interesting. But yeah, I didn't know this game had swimming. Pretty cool. This is quite an early N64 game. I think 97 this came out, so I'm very impressed, actually, with what this game has. I can see why it's a classic, but from what I've been told, there's a remake that you can get on Switch, and it's basically much better than the original, because it probably fixes a lot of these weird issues with controls and stuff. But what am I to know? Aha! Another man with a shotgun. Explosive shells now. Okay. Don't know where I'm going. All these damn toads. Telep oh, wow. <gasps> We got the level 3 key. 3 keys find left to find. Wow. Um, I think... Oh no, there's a, there's a whole swimming session with underwater enemies. Oh, I can swing my knife underwater and die, frogs. I'm drowning, I'm drowning! What is this? An assault rifle? Ho 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 ho. Baby. Right. Can I use the assault rifle underwater? I don't think so. Right, let's kill some fools with the assault rifle and then I think that's... I think I've got enough of the Turok experience for right now. Is that all that's here? Oh no, there's another teleporter. 
Where's my assault rifle? Here we go, right. <clears throat> now we're in some kind of maze, yep, because there's no map. Checkpoint. Where are the bad guys? I just want to blast some fools with this assault rifle. I mean, killing little spiders is not the same. Blammo. Oh wow. Even more keys. I'm doing better than I thought. But okay, we found the key. Shot the assault rifle. I think we just killed something in the darkness I couldn't see. I think that's a good place to leave it for now. So let's give my final summary of Turok. So that was Turok with both the N64 controller and the Switch Pro controller. I'm sorry it's a bit shorter today, usually I do both controllers twice, but there isn't very distinctive change points for it. And I think it's quite obvious what the best choice to do with this is. First point, playing the Switch Pro controller with the default controls in either left or right handed mode is impossible. Um, Using the left stick to aim and the, either the right stick or the D-pad to move, depending on the control scheme. Impossible. For me, anyway, and I think for most people, too. I think so many people have it hardwired for left to move, right to aim, like I, like it is right now. Um, so that is absolutely a big neddy no-no. Don't do that. Um, so if that was... if controller remapping is off the table, N64 controller would win. I prefer playing it in left-handed mode because then I can use my left hand to actually move with the D-pad at least and use the control stick to aim, similar to how I had it on Perfect Dark and I quite liked it on that. You can't invert the aiming on this game, which is annoying for both of them, but yeah. That would win, but however, thanks to the controller rebinding and being able to just play this like a modern game, assuming you remember to invert your right stick, you know, left stick to move, right stick to aim. It's just... This is the way to play. Absolutely. So I'm going to have to say, out of the way, you to N64 controller. Out of the way, you. Switch Pro controller with the power of remapping, because Nintendo haven't added the remapping for this controller on the Switch. I could remap it on Steam, but I can't do it on the Switch, and it's really bloody annoying, and I wish they'd fix it. Maybe for the Switch 2 they will. We'll see. But yes, mini rant over. Switch Pro wins. Let me know if you want to see me play some more Torok, because I know I didn't play that much of it today. And yeah, be sure to subscribe, do all that good YouTube stuff, and until next time, goodbye!